Okay, I'm putting it all back together and I believe that's what it's supposed to look like at the top. That little black washer and then underneath there, there's another little washer. And then... So it's gonna go on like so. That little washer on the bottom and then the leaf spring. And then that's it, I think that just slides down. Okay, then you have that little piece that just sort of slides over top of the nut. I, I'm not quite certain why it's there. And then um, on top of that, you're going to have this. There's a small washer there, and then there's, um, it looks like a spring sort of thing. That, that part is going to go on the bottom, so it's going to go on. Okay, if you can see, this top nut has a, a little bit of a bevel. The bevel goes down. You put on the top, then slide the bevel down. And remember, this screw is opposite thread, so lefty tighty. Next, you're going to want to put in this screw. So this screw is just a surface-mounted screw. It prevents this top screw from spinning right, which would be loose in this position or in this condition because it's a reverse thread. So anyway, you want it, there's two holes. I chose the hole that'll prevent it more from spinning, the this top bolt from spinning to the right. Okay, to review the screws again, this one here is gonna be a long one. And they're gonna be, and then I believe this one and this one are gonna be the same size. And then you have two under this casing and then one in front to remove the casing. So in total you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I would place them in an order so you know you know where they go when you go to put it back together. Okay, so I'm trying to breathe some life back into my Pacific uh, Fun 3000 reel. So to get it apart, you're gonna have, um, I think five. One, two, uh, two, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. These two back screws are hitting under um, this little face plate. So anyway, the reel was submerged in the salt water and um, it was it wouldn't go. So the, the main issue I think was this upper gear, which is, so you have two gears, this bottom piece here, the bottom, all, all the brass um, spins that gear and it's, it's still pretty tight and I've, been working it with the light lube and then the, the um, heavier, um, more Teflon lube. Anyway, I think I'm going to be able to, to make it functional. It's just, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it back to normal. But anyway, you want to make sure that gear spins well lubed up. I've cleaned it and greased it, cleaned it and greased it. And I think I'm going to put it all back together and um, see if uh, I can get some use out of it. So just the reverse process, here's your main gear, it just drops right in, you got to give it a little, maybe a little wiggle, then you got a little bearing that I think it's equal on both sides and that's going to sit on there. Uh, I'm gonna re-grease everything though, and then I'm gonna put it together. Okay, so underneath this bearing, there is a very small, thin um, spacer. And that's it, you can see I was very liberal with the grease. I don't expect much out of this reel. I hope it comes back to life a little, but um, we'll see. Uh, that's the first stage of putting it back together. There's bearings. There's a bearing there. You can see even after cleaning and greasing and cleaning and greasing, rust is still coming out. That's why I'm very liberal. My main concern is this one in here. I think that's the one that's gonna really bring a lot of attention to the reel. Okay, when the handle spins both ways, that means one of two things. This switch is in the wrong position or 
that upper spring there came off. And you can see I had to pull it tight with some tweezers to get it to stay on. But now that that's on, the handle only spins one way as should. But there's the setup of that spring system. Well, once the uh, grease had a time to work its way in, it went from an old frozen solid reel to um, as good as new.